Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. First of all, the question is absolutely correct. God must initiate. The closest thing that comes to man being able to act on his own initiation is where God commissioned them to be able to do so, such as when Moses was able to bang his stick. But God told him he should be able to do that. The initiation and commissioning must always come from God, never from man. When people try to initiate or in some way activate a supernatural experience, this is makshafut in Hebrew. It's witchcraft. It's an occult practice. We cannot do it. God must do it by his spirit. Now, what we do see, however, is when God does it, it is often responsive to the prayers of his people. It is often responsive to the prayers of his people where he does something incredible. However, it is always him, not us. Your question is well placed because we have people today misunderstanding spiritual authority, saying we take authority over this and we speak against that, we pray this and confess this into being. These are the word faith heresies. They don't understand what the scripture is actually teaching. One example would be binding and loosing. In the Greek, it's present continuous active. We can only bind what is being bound in heaven and loose what is being loosed in heaven. It's not something we can do on our own initiative or our own authority. But again, these people generally don't know the original languages. They don't know the actual meaning. In fact, they even distort the English translations out of context. Thank you for your question. It is well placed, and you are absolutely correct in what you assert. God bless. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you.